All right, hi guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to create an emitter cluster on a Google Cloud platform, and it will be across zones, across data center cluster. And on top of that, it will feature message storage using persistent volumes, and the persistent volumes themselves will be using fast storage to SSD backed storage. Uh, with it, we'll also create a load balancer. So let's get started. So I have my cluster up and running, and if you haven't uh, done this step, you can watch a separate video on this. So first thing I need to do, I need to connect to the cluster. So I click connect here, and it will give gives me this. All right. So once you have installed, so you might you need to install kubectl. Once you have this installed, you go ahead and uh, yes, and run this. So this will connect to this particular cluster, kubectl. Let's see if we have any pods here. And I'm connected to right cluster. So it gets tricky if you have uh, multiple clusters and you really want to make sure you're not messing up with other cluster. All right, so get services. All right, so we have Kubernetes cluster IP, we have no pods whatsoever, and it's all good. So next thing we want to do is we want to run the brokers. Actually, let's start with the DNS name. So first we'll create a service, and the service does nothing much. The only thing it does, it gives this name broker, and it's headless service, means it will not have, not, not have an IP. However, it will create a DNS, uh, internal DNS name for our cluster. So we want to apply this. Ypsitl apply. We want to have our DNS name. And we'll be created here so in the services if you click in services and google cloud now you have your broker right it doesn't have any pods which is okay. okay we haven't created them yet now let's create something else let's create a load balancer as well since we're doing this and it will take a while all right we apply load balancer and nothing tricky here. It's a service which is load balancer that will create a load balancer in Google um, Cloud. So what we do here is we take target port 8080 on the container on emitter broker and we map it to external port 80. Uh, similarly, port 443, we map to port 443 from outside. Right. So nothing, um, nothing fancy here. However, what we also want to do is to create this storage class. So it will actually create a class of storage. Uh, we'll name it fast uh, and it will use the SSD type of storage in Kubernetes. Well, in Google Cloud, right? So let's apply storage. So I'll show you all of that. So here we just create the storage. So present volume claims, we don't have any, uh, but in storage classes, now we have a two, right? We have standard one, which is PD standard, and we just created a fast storage type. So this will actually use SSDs to store our messages. Services, we should have two now. We have a load balancer and here's the IP. So you can click here, uh, let's close this. So you can click here and it will not do anything because we don't have any pods, right? So next thing we want to do, we actually want to run the broker. So let's apply the broker and I'm gonna explain what it is and what it does. So in here, it's a stateful set. So stateful set will, it's a set of pods essentially, which have a volume attached, right? And as if a machine goes down in Google Cloud, it may happen that the virtual machine goes down, 
you won't lose message, well, you won't lose data, right? So if a machine is down, what will happen is the new machine, Kubernetes will bring up the new machine up, right? And the disk, the persistent volume, will be reattached to this new machine. This will keep your messages uh, safe and sound because they're actually replicated behind the scenes, even if your machines go um, go down. Right, so that's pretty much it. So Stateful set, we give it the name broker. We also say, hey, please run only one broker on on one uh, virtual machine in this case, right? So different host names will have different brokers and this is anti-affinity policy, which we apply. Really important, otherwise uh, Kubernetes might schedule all your brokers on the same machine and that would defeat the point of having a distributed system in the first place. Now what we'll need to provide, we'll need to provide a license, um, a cluster seed, and uh, advertiser address, right? I uh, actually wouldn't work. I forgot to provide a uh, license here. Actually, let's create the license. Let's create the license, paste it here, and reapply. So cluster seed is now is this machine which we should connect to as soon as the broker starts. In this case, we give it a DNS name. A DNS name is provided by this service. Right? So that will have all the IPs of the stateful set and will uh, emitter actually is smart enough to connect to all of the IPs and try to form a most reliable cluster. And we'll also advertise a private uh, address here. Right, we use this uh, Docker image. The ports that it exposes for 4000 is for internal communication. So other emitter brokers to talk to other emitter brokers. Uh, 80, 18, 403 are for external communication. Hence, we map them to the load balancer. We have uh, a volume mount under uh, mount path data, right? And this broker volume maps to this metadata and we use a fast storage, which we declared in the storage SSD and we claim 50 gig of that, right? So let's see how this goes. So in workloads, I should have something now um, and it crashed. So why did it crash? Stateful set. So we have one broker and this broker is down. It's probably because I didn't have any. It's deleted. I didn't have any license. So right now we have one broker running and you can click here. So that's actual pod and um, you can view logs here. You should be able also view logs this way. So if you do kubectl logs broker, which is this is one, you also see the logs. Uh, typically, this is faster. So you can see it tried to join. So if you do logs uh, dash. F that will tail the log, so as new things will happen, it will just appear. Right, so it just subscribed to a new peer and it was created. Let's go and check our load balancer. Right, so load balancer works even though we don't have all, all, every, every, every broker up yet. Um, it's still creating, the pods are pending, and as you can see, we're st uh, we just have a new one, we have subscribe subscription. Okay, so, and that's pretty much it. You can go here and go to keygen, right? And then using your secret key, 
which is the secret key you can generate new keys all right so thank you for your attention and please subscribe and let me know if you're interested in other topics